Hi everyone, today we're gonna learn uh, a lot of options of CFT posts so I directly start by uh, periodic and symmetric boundary condition. Uh, as you can see, in this case we have a turbine uh, which was simulated uh, and uh, due to its high computational cost we mostly uh, simulate a part of it and then apply a periodic uh, boundary condition to it. So in these cases uh, we want to uh, rotate about its origin and uh, make it complete. To do that open default transform and as you can see there are some options for rotation, for uh, translation and reflection. Our geometry should be rotated about its center axis uh, so uh, if I put a higher value here for example 2 then there would be two uh, passages but uh, before that we have to uh, do some options for example uh, I should first uh, define the axis origin right now the axis is uh, just the main origin so I just uh, change the axis to X and then apply if uh, it wasn't the main axis, I mean uh, the main coordination of the uh, ANSYS fluent, then you should uh, choose another option, rotation axis, and define two points of uh, the center line. In the next step, we should uh, define the number of passages. For this simulation, we had uh, 22 passages, so I enter 22. And then, if I get back to number of graphical instances and increase to 2, then there would be 2 passages. And by insert 22, it will complete. The other choice is to passage per component field. By increasing that, uh, the CFT post will skip some of the uh, passages. For example, if I increase that to 5, and apply it or even more then uh, there would be less passages there are other options like translation uh, in case you need that but uh, one of the most important one is reflection it is used for symmetry boundary conditions in case you have a boundary condition in your simulation, uh, activate uh, reflection and then uh, define the method, I mean uh, the reflection plane from the drop down list. And then you can have uh, the extra domain from the symmetry wall.